All right, so once you have roast chicken, you probably want to make gravy. It's really easy. Um, I have the same exact pan I just cooked the chicken in, and I put um, a tablespoon of butter, and then I have a tablespoon of flour. So you uh, just want to mix that together to create a roux, um, which will help to thicken um, the gravy. So have this over like a low heat right now. And so the butter and the flour are going to melt together, um, and you want to get, get a little bit of a golden brown color, which it is. All right, let me turn this down. All right, and then I took all the pan drippings. Um, at first, I took the chicken out of the pan, and then I used um, just like a spatula and kind of scraped the bottom to scrape off any sort of um, bits that were stuck. I poured all the liquid through a strainer and into another container. Um, then I've poured it into these lovely Red Sox glasses to demonstrate. So this top section here, that's just fat. We want this part to be the gravy. I have tons of this because I made so much chicken. Um, and then you need one of these. So what you want to do is just take all the good stuff and leave the fat everything in here stir it together add some white wine and you'll have gravy it's it's really easy um and gravy is really great to have on hand i love to put um leftover gravy into soup you can put it into soup or um if you're just making stock you can just throw it in the stock and then freeze it um save it for whenever you're ready to make soup um another thing you can do with leftover gravy is just um freeze it you can just freeze it you can um, put it into ice cube trays and then if you have like mashed potatoes one day you can just defrost some gravy. Alright so this is gonna take me a minute I'm sorry. Let's see how all the fat is left behind. Some people might save that. I personally don't. Alright, here we go. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit here. So I always just use the same pan that I cooked the chicken in. It's the way my dad did it. Um, that's always been fine. Um, obviously, I wouldn't do this if I wasn't using a metal plant pan. You probably want to use something else if you use like a casserole dish. I would probably just make um, the gravy in a skillet. All right, so. This is about done. So now we need to bring this up to a pretty steady bubble. We want it to um, to get really nice and thick. So I've let the uh, gravy come up to a bubble, and it's just going to be bubbling away for about a minute. I'm going to add a splash of white wine. Um, you don't have to. I just really like the little hint of wine flavor. Um, the chicken recipe that we used for this involves a lot of citrus and garlic, so this is a really great gravy. Um, it has a nice lemon flavor, which I think is really nice in chicken. Um, and I actually think it's really nice to make a stock with, um, and to make a stock with the chicken and then to add some of this gravy, um, because it, it makes for a really nice flavorful stock. So all you really need to do is add a little butter to the pan, add flour, let that all melt together, add all the drippings from your pan, leave the fat behind, bring it to a bubble, add a splash of wine, and just let it thicken. Um, some people I know have different preferences on how they like their gravy, if they like it to be um, you know, really thick or kind of runny, um, I fall somewhere in the middle. Um, but if you want it to be thicker, just add, um, add a little bit more flour. Whisk it all together and you're good to go. I hope that you like this recipe and you can find more of my recipes on thekitchen.com.